My name is Cami Miller, and I'm a bird keeper here at the Indianapolis Zoo. I do work with our entire bird collection, but I also work specifically with our penguins. Um, we have three different species of penguin. The king penguins, which are just under the same size as the, the emperor, so the second largest penguin species. And they have a fun yellow stripe that goes up next to their ears. Our Gen 2s are what you would consider more of the tuxedo look. They have that fun little collar and they stand nice and tall. And our little rock hoppers, they're my favorite. They have the little fun yellow crest that hangs out on top of their head. That's how you can tell them apart. I definitely look forward to coming to work every day to come out here with them. All three of our penguin species are native to Antarctica and the surrounding islands from there. Penguins are birds, obviously. They can't fly in the air, but I do still think that they fly underwater. Their anatomy is very specialized for their life underwater and their life in the cold. We have a whole life support team here at the zoo that helps us take care of our exhibit. So we have two sides, we have the large side and small side, and then we have a fun tunnel that they can swim underneath and have access to both sides. Our exhibit water is typically anywhere between 45 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, and then our exhibit temperature is usually anywhere between 32 and 38 degrees. Everybody thinks, oh, they're kind of chubby. Actually, it's just like us whenever we put our coats on, we get a little bit bigger than we normally are, so that's why they have that nice dense coat to help keep them warm, keep them insulated when they're in the water, and also to help keep them waterproof. Their flippers are really, really strong. They have giant muscles on the front and on the back that help them really be able to swim super fast. Um, our Gen 2 species can swim the fastest out of any penguin species. They swim over 20 miles an hour. It's definitely really fun whenever you're here to watch them kind of zoom around and hop up out of the water and shoot underneath this fun tunnel. And they're so beautiful when they're swimming too. It looks effortless. We do two feeds a day with our, fang with our fanguins. <laughs> I'm all for bloopers. Every bird eats differently, just like all of us have our own preferences when it comes to food and how we eat things. So it's always really fun um, whenever they come to the bucket to get to see everybody's little individual personalities, who gets in line first, who kind of waits off to the side, who likes big fish, who likes small fish, that kind of stuff. Feeding time is one of the best times for us as keepers to do a nice health check on our animals. So they're getting really close to us. We can check out their eyes, their mouth, their flippers, their feet, all of those things. It's really um, important for us as keepers to make sure that we are observing our animals closely. My favorite part about being a zookeeper is the conservation aspect. I fell in love with animals when I was really, really little, and I want to make sure that future generations of little kids can fall in love with animals too, just like I did. Our job is to observe, but also to ensure that the species that we're working with have the best quality of life possible. And so by coming to places like the Indianapolis Zoo, you're helping us be able to give that to them, but then you're also helping us be able to reach out to young kids just like myself who fell in love with animals at a zoo, talking to a zookeeper who was walking out to a feed. And so, ooh, did not expect that, sorry. Um, you never know, like, the small little things that you do, like, what of a big impact that it can have on someone's life.